This forecast is powered by Johnson's Appliances and Betty, located in Ocean City and Wildwood, or online at johnsonsappliances.net. All right, guys, come on, get excited. Put a smile on your face. It is your hump day Wednesday. We got a couple more days to go until the weekend. I'm not feeling the excitement. What's going on? Why are you moping around? Oh, okay, I know. You're walking to the window after you're waking up. You're yawning. You're looking outside and you're saying, oh, it is going to be another ugly day. And you're right, but there's nothing we can do about it. Just put a smile on your face and we'll get through it. All right, we got cloudy skies out there. Some of you are already dealing with some scattered showers. It is going to be like this pretty much all day. Let's take a look at our big picture. A lot of nice weather out here. Uh, through the Ohio Valley, out towards Chicago and uh, St. Louis. We don't live there, though. We live right here where it's green. As we zoom in, you'll see that we're going to be dealing with showers and windy weather. Winds are out of the northeast, so it's cloudy, it's showery, and tidal flooding concerns are going to increase later on this evening as well. So it doesn't really sound like a good combination. I want to crawl back in bed right now. I'm right there with you. 51 right now in Scranton, 59 for New York, 59 in Philadelphia, and 57 in Atlantic City. We have the scattered showers out there all associated with that storm system that's going to be off our shore for the next 48 to 72 hours. It is not going to go anywhere as it's kind of blocked. It can't physically go anywhere. So these are the conditions we're going to be dealing with all day today, all day tomorrow, going into Friday as well. Showers look to fizzle up into North Jersey by tonight. And then another round of rain possible late tomorrow into early Friday as the back end of that storm tries to come through. 62 today, clouds, very little sunshine if any. Actually, I think most of you will go the entirety of the day without seeing any sun. There will be areas of wet weather out there, so take your time traveling around the roads. Coastal flooding, clearly a big concern of mine. It has been since Sunday. We've been talking about this. Coastal flood advisory for coastal uh, ocean, Atlantic, Cape May, Cumberland County. We're mainly looking at the high tide cycle coming up tonight after 6 o'clock. A lot of the tide charts are just under the threshold for moderate. But still, we're going to prepare for moderate. Move your cars to higher ground if you live in areas that typically do flood. Looks like uh, the latest high tides in Cape May at uh, 635 on the ocean side. And then on the, the Fortescue side, on the Delaware Bay side of things, 720. And we're looking at some minor flooding there. Typically, Fortescue, when you have winds out of the north and the northeast, it's not as bad a situation as everybody uh, to your east. As soon as those winds shift out of the west, that's a different scenario. We will update you if anything major changes. 64 tomorrow, we remain cloudy, still very unsettled. Winds are out of the north, which could help us. It's not going to cure the entire situation, but it might help us stay away from the crazy amount of flooding. Though I do think that we're going to jog very close to moderate uh, flooding for a majority of the next uh, few tide cycles. 7A forecast, upper 60s, Thursday, Friday, touching 70 on Saturday if we can get that storm system out of here.